Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Direct 101. Today, we're going to be discussing the step as a guest when they are completing the booking. So we created a custom code initially, and they would either go through the site or go through a payment link that you have selected. This is the step when someone creates or you would create a link for your guest and have them confirm the payment. So they will be receiving an email as such here with the details of the booking. They would have the booking code, number of guests, the check in dates, and they would see the cancellation policy that you have set for them. And then all you need to do is confirm and pay. This is what the page looks like, um, which is similar if the guests would be booking it directly through the site. The only difference is that they don't need to pick the dates. They don't need to go through the site anymore as it's already filled out for them by you. The price is also set manually by you, but you can still provide them a discount code if you have one and then still make it more discounted for them. Up to you. Um, but they just need to fill out their information. This information is already automatically added as this was created as a custom code. All they need to do is to add their billing address. Hold on. You and then they would need to add their card details. I'll just pause to add that. There, I've added a card and now we're going to continue to review and confirm the details. Now, if you notice that initially it only showed the amount in total of the booking, but if you have configured on your account to set up a split payment or to partial payments, it will be an option for your guests here on the review and confirm page. So you just have to discuss to them that even if it shows, for example, $30,000 up front, it doesn't mean that they need to pay the full $30,000 up front. It depends on um, your setup. If you have the option to pay it in part, then they'll be able to see this option later on. But um, for this example, yeah, let's do part now so that we can see how it works. We'll be able to also verify the cancellation policy that is set by the host here. The terms and conditions, as you notice right now, it would be gray out to book. They have to accept the terms and conditions. The house rules is also listed here and the terms of service, although some of the guests would not be reviewing that. If they need it, they can always um, click on those details um, from here or anywhere from here. So your guests agrees to all of those information when they continue the booking. Now let's hit book now and continue with the process. I just paused that process, but it was a verification from my bank, which some cards also require. So we have what we call 3DS verification, which is the second layer of authentication from banks to ensure that the purchase is something that you authorize. I just completed that. And as a reminder, if you would be, um, if you have a guest who is prompted that and they did not complete that part, their credit card will be refused or their debit card would be refused and the payment will not go through and they will not be able to complete the booking. So it is, a part that is required either by the bank or either by us if the amount of the booking is already large. I think we collect it for about $3,000. Now, next step is guest verification, but we'll do that in another video. See you again. If you have any questions, let us know. Send us a message at support at hospitable.com. Thank you.